been a big boy with big sweaty boys. Pommel thick enough to prolapse. I've been Dex, dude. Been quality man. I've done it all. I've made invader builds for everything. And all of Lothric has been our playground. We've seen hosts come and go, live, die, all beneath the purview of our exciting builds. I can no longer fight it. I can no longer resist the urge. Everyone keeps telling me, go back, go back. They want, they want it. And I have to give it to them. It's the last, it's the last Dark Souls 3 build. From the game that birthed Saint Riot comes the ultimate meme. We all know it's happening. Just come on. Let's get this show on the road. We know it's happening. It is happening. Three times is it gonna happen. But I will not give in. I have invaded the world of the host of embers. Oh wow. And a blue spirit has appeared. So level 60 in the Cathedral of the Deep. What sort of host is this? What sort of blue is this? It doesn't matter. Ruthless efficiency. Straight sword hell. Straight swords three. More. These blues. They won't stop coming, but I won't do it. I won't say it. Curved. Curved sword hell. We'll find him. We'll get him with some of that trademark. Verticality. I've done a terrible thing. I've unleashed a terrible, terrible thing on this world. And I'm sorry. But for every point down, vengeance must be paid. For every overleveled phantom, for every blue spirit, it's dark damage. It chips through shields. Not very many people have a lot of dark defense, especially at low level. They fall off the face of the, off the map. Verticality. But I won't do it. Do the dungeon master voice, Saint. No. The black flamed horror. What was once a soul level 125 build has become my final creation. At soul level 60. There are times during invasions where all you want to do is have some fun. It's not always about winning. It's not always about trying hard. It's not always about having the most meta build. Winning isn't the only thing. It's not everything. There's fun. also infinite rolls. There's also resummoning your friends. Your overleveled friends. So there must also be punishment. But 
do the dungeon master voice. Saint. Tell them about the stats. You can see the stats. They don't need me to read the stats. What rings you got, bitch? We're not wearing the Hornet ring. Because dark damage doesn't benefit as heavily from the Hornet ring. But that doesn't mean we're not going to go for those sweet, sweet stabbies. And those flashy parries. We're not salty. We're, we're just metting out justice. Swift, efficient justice. You sound pretty salty, bitch. Why on earth would you need 494 AR on a greatsword? It's all level 60, Saint. You mad? No. Not mad. Just taking back what is rightfully ours and not theirs. In a game that allows them to go unpunished. Chugging and healing and rolling and summoning and blocking. There must be some sort of divine retribution. At every sub level. At 60. At 71. It can work anywhere. And now I know. And I see, I see the truth. It's necessary to have 396 AR on a straight sword at level 70. I have to have it. You need it. And you need to do the dungeon master voice. Do the dungeon master voice, Saint. Go ahead. I will not. I will harness this power and I will use it for good or evil. Whatever. Morality. All perfectly good choices. But I, I choose to see myself as good. The last bastion of difficulty in a game that has an easy mode. I can be the hard mode. Tell them how hard you are, Saint. Oh, I'm real hard. Do the Dungeon Master voice. Can't you hear them? Do the Dungeon Master voice. Just do it. Just say, Blue Spirit, one time. Just do it. This will probably be the last Dark Souls 3 build video that I make as we stand on the precipice. Dark Souls Remastered. So enjoy it. Take this weapon that I'm giving you. Scholar ring, priestess ring. That's 10 stats worth of AR increase on two ring slots. It's meta. Meta AF boy. Even the Pontiff Knight curved sword meta slaves. The ones that unabashedly play with their R1. Just flicking it, just flicking that R1 with their finger. seen more fight clubs 
and soul level 60, post pontiff. Everybody wants a finished build fight club at level 60 post pontiff. Well, here you go. Here's a finished fucking build. It's a dark loth knight straight sword. It's a dark, infused follower saber. Weapon art, not meta. Get punished. Will you put up with it? Will you continue to fight? Or will you perish like a dog? See, it's dark and fused. No one's got good dark defense. No one's got a shield that's got good dark defense. They see the straight sword, and what do they want to do? They want to parry the straight sword. You will not parry the straight sword. They equip a shield that increases their stamina regeneration so that they can roll more. They couldn't roll enough. They have to roll more. They need more rolls. They're like a buffet. Except this buffet only serves bread. And the only sort of bread they serve is rolls. But they can't block the dark. It will seep in. Do it. Do the Dungeon Master voice. When will you play more Dark Souls 3, Saint? Do the Dungeon Master voice. 60, 71, now 90. The dark build is eternal. Held to it at 30. Give yourself 35 vitality. And then deep infuse all your weapons. Dark goes anywhere. What makes the dark build good? is that it does damage. It does a lot of damage. A lot of dark damage. What does that mean? It means you don't have to play good for very long, and you can win. Even with a straight sword. All you need is three seconds. Three seconds of good play. the onyx blade. Not because we have a lot of poise, but because it allows us to interrupt poise. We know about spacing. They get angry. They don't like it. This build points and every flaw inherent in this game's design. And it says, I'm going to use that. And I'm going to hurt you with it. And they don't know how to respond. And they can't beat you. So they throw doo-doo. They throw the poop. They throw poo-poo. They throw caca. They throw dung at you. But you can take it. In the end, 
the only person they're making toxic is themselves. All the lag in the world can't save them from the damage. At soul level 90 in the archives, the wax it completely tanks your opponent's fire absorption. The Onyx Blade becomes a nightmare. What can they do? They're all out of phantoms, and they're all out of doo doo. There's no one left to help them. And then they realize they can't even help themselves. Do the dungeon master voice. Saint. I'm not saying it has to be every build. But imagine if for every build you had, you had a duplicate that was capable of showing no mercy. Ever. Yes, I see now. Despite my best efforts, what we will remember from Dark Souls 3. And so far as build goes, it's not the vampire hunter. It's not the big strong boys. All the iron pineapple memers. Inferno plus memers. Everyone who says poise isn't working. They've tainted poise. But no one can taint. Our beloved Dark Build. Yes. It's too good. It is, it's too good. Verticality. Your average host just can't compete with it. First great shield in the game. Spells that take too long to cast. Dark rolls three, straight swords three. Dark swords three. You've invaded the world of Aster at soul level 60 in the Crucifixion Woods. Uh, that seems a little high, Dungeon Master. Well, they camp the woods and they kill the level 30 Baron Watchdogs so that they can feel good about themselves and make montage videos. Um, okay, uh, I guess I'll just concern myself with uh, the, the, the blue spirit. He's passive as all fuck until he hits L1 three times. Well, I mean, of course he did. Anybody who equips a, a weapon that has L1 as a... That's what they're going to press. Uh, what am I fighting now? It's a phantom with a black knight sword. Okay, um... I'll be pretty aggressive. He gets out his parry shield. Running attack, he can't... He can. And he does. <sighs> How? Dungeon Master. I was, like, right, I mean, latency. It's always latency. But you have been granted a second chance. All right. Okay. Then then this time, uh, let's kill these gankers. They appear to be having a standoff. 
with a Dark Moon Nitus invader. Alright, um, just kind of see what's going on. The Black Knight Sword comes back at you. Alright, uh, I'll just do passive meta shit with a straight sword and uh, play my best like uh, the Sticky Bandit uh, here in the woods. This is his stomping grounds now. I'll be super reactive and uh, just be smart. Your wisdom earned you a backstab. Okay, well that's cool. Um, but I'm going to stick mainly to R1s and just spacing here. Your opponent switches to the Manservant Hatchet and heals up. Alright, um... Let's see if he swings twice. He does not. Okay, so no setup here. What's he playing like, Dungeon Master? He's playing like he wants a backstab. But he's not very good at it. Alright, um... Well, maybe he's, like, you know, pretty novice at it. I, I, let's just, let's fight him straight up and down. Straight up and down, whipping your ass with that man serpent hatchet. Okay, I'm not gonna heal and see if he also doesn't heal. It appears to be working. You're almost dead. Don't panic. Just keep playing right. Nice bait with the R2. Roll catch for the kill. Alright, easy peasy. It's now a 2v2 because a watchdog is wearing the untrue dark ring and he thinks he's friends with the host who lives on the moon and his Wi Fi sucks. Jesus, both? Okay, um. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Straight sword and a Cestus. Alright, I'm gonna play super carefully. You get God broken and all one spammed, and then you miss a parry. You're not playing carefully. Take that back step, though. How about that? Huh? You like that dungeon master? Did the hunter charm hit? It did, but you were interrupted by the dumbass guy who, who the watchdog, I think. I think he's a watchdog. He's just an idiot. Prancing around with his dagger. Yeah, alright, screw him. I don't care. I'm going to keep chasing the host. The host begins to play Roll Souls 3. Well, of course he does. Your all ones are also hitting your partner watchdog. Yeah, I don't care. Alright, so, let me get this straight. It's me and a watchdog and an invader against a host and another watchdog? Is that what's happening here? I'm pretty sure. Also, now there's a blue spirit inbound. Alright, uh, I'm just going to whip this dude's ass with a curved sword for a while uh, until this blue spirit shows up. He's showed up. Also, the dagger guy's back. God, I fucking hate dagger guy. Um, the host has switched to Vortz. Alright, uh, well, I can backstab that at least. But for right now, let's deal with Dagger Guy. At least, uh, get him to, to, to leave us alone for a minute. Vortz, unexpectedly, mashes into your brain and you're frostbitten. Backstab. Watching that goof. Watching that goof, haven't you? Perry? Good job! Same guy, too. Just press an L1. Can't stop it. Loves him some L1. But now he loves the grave. Alright, where's the host? He's around here somewhere. Alright, well then, let's uh, beat up Dagger Guy for a minute. The host is summoning his friend back. Well, of course he is. I'll try and uh, chase him around with the curve sword. The dark spirit has managed to finish off Dagger Guy. But the Phantom has shown up. Also, it turns out he wasn't an Aldrich, or I'm sorry, he wasn't a, fi uh, a Fire and Watchdog. He, he was just a blue spirit. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll take the fight back to the Phantom. What's the, what's my red dude doing? Nothing. 
Okay, well that's that's convenient. Um, I've only got five Estus left. I'm gonna try and uh, finish off this host if I can. The 2v1 is strong because the watchdog can't hold aggro. He just runs around with his shield up. Okay, uh, then let's deal with the phantom. Phantom dealt with. The host switches back to his voice and takes off running. Oh, all right. Um, let's go Hornet Ring and Chaos Dagger. He's going to run clear across the entire map. Are you prepared? Are you prepared to deal with this? I mean, Christ, <clears throat> what option do I have? Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's run across the entire map because this guy, uh, is, is unhappy with the situation he's created for himself. Wants to gank. Gets ganked. Doesn't like it. He jumps off a ledge. Yeah, Silver Cat Ring, jump off. Follow him. Just keep chasing him. Like, whose idea of fun is this? You know what I mean? Like, what sort of person is content to, to just run in this game? At a certain point, it says, I think, something about your, your psyche. You attempted to use that fap trick, weren't you, bitch? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll be totally honest. I absolutely thought about it. Usually wouldn't do that. But man, that was, uh, that was annoying. Let's switch back to the Hornet Ring. You're going to go for parries. And as a result, you're going to get your ass kicked because this asshole actually knows how to play a little bit. Okay, um, back to the straight sword, and, uh, just try and deal with him. Also, can we give a point down to the Dark Spirit Invader who thinks this is an honor thing? What's the matter, Saint? Y you getting mad? No, no I'm not. I'm getting backstabs. I'm getting booty. The Farron Watchdog is dead. Fantastic. At least now your red friend has decided that he wants to play. Uh, I'm going to just let him deal with the host. I'm going to try and finish off this phantom. You both get very nice backstabs, but then he starts drinking Sigbrow, because of course he does. You're denied a backstab because you have angered backstab. Jesus. All right, um... Well, during this next portion of the fight, I'm going to silently whisper a prayer to backstab Jesus. He didn't hear you, apparently. Uh, I whisper another prayer, and I say two Hail Parries. Maybe he'll have forgiven you. The host is all alone again, and he's going to run again. All right, um, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to use the Ring of Favor trick. Furiously, you pound the Ring of Favor over and over again. And as such, you don't run out of stamina as you run. Alright, that's it. Finish this dude off. Kill him. Verticality. No! <laughs> Are you freaking serious? You're the worst DM of all time. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done.